Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Darius Toppling, who I am not comfortable on. In fact, I don't feel like I have like that comfortable pick besides Warwick Toppling so far. But we're like 300 LP Master tier, uh, and we got counterpicked by a Vayne. So I'm about to have a miserable experience where I can't really do anything except for try to farm. And even then, that's like challenging for me to probably do can i even like have her hit minions here if i walk into my wave some matchups like this if you can stand near your wave you can uh have the minions go onto them but it looks like the wave is honestly okay now as long as i don't miss too much exp it might be okay the the biggest thing is just not losing a bunch of exp and it looks like it pulled the minions, so they none of them are going to get too low that they might die. I might miss a little bit here. Those two minions are getting low. The two melee picks. If I step up, I'll lose so much HP, so I'm not even going to bother. It's just a complete waste. Okay, cool. We missed one melee. Okay, we got some minions for ourselves. Let's go, man. Secur secured a few. Just chilling. Getting the cannon. Oof. Looks like I got it with my Q. Not bad. The longer the lane goes on for, it normally gets better as long as you don't like tremendously get far behind because you finally have abilities. So if they ever make a mistake, you can sometimes punish it. I'm not gonna be able to get that one in time. She got scared. I was probably gonna pull her. Okay. We both have ghosts, so it's not like I can do, like, ghost advantage on her, sadly. I just hit the whole entire wave. If she wanted to try to freeze it, she might be able to. She is holding on to her Q, so she only uses it away from me, so I never have an opportunity to go on her. If she Qs towards me and messes up, I would have maybe been able to, like... Pull her back in like that. You see how, like, even the sh if she makes a mistake like that, I can maybe sometimes get a tiny trade on her that might allow me to eventually win. That being said, though, look at my ECD, right? It's, my ECD is, like, 22 seconds or something. 24. Longer than 22. Can Karthus rotate behind her? Is that possible? I guess not. He's not really rotating upright. Okay, she's still just dashing away every single time, so... Twenty-four to forty-two, not dying. Though. Ooh, dash forward. Oh, goodness. Don't tell me I'm going to get ganked the moment I pressure you, right? Like, is, is a gank happening? I'm so scared. I finally got a good pull in to, like, chunk her a little bit. Man, my mana cost on my ultimate is quite high. I want to punish so badly, but, I mean... A full base? Okay. She doesn't have TP, so we're kind of free to just shove out ourselves now.
And then I get a base. This was probably the best possible thing that could have happened. Now, do I want to try this thing? Which is supposed to be a pretty good counter to uh, Vayne. Uh, if you buy Edge of Night first item, Vayne doesn't have a way of removing Edge of Night except for through her E Condemn. So technically, her Condemn is useless. So your all-in potential is better because... I can just ghost at her, and she has no way to get me off. But that being said, she does have stealth mechanic, and she's very fast. And just because, like, I, I can remove Condemn doesn't mean it's an automatic win. But yeah, it might open up an opportunity to maybe be able to do it, right? So that's the idea behind it. Ooh, ow. Re-hit passive there. That hurts. Are you gonna gank? Honestly, I would have been down for you to try, but okay. I'm so sad that I didn't get it. Oh, I really wish that Karthus attempted that, man. I could have popped Ghost or Flash just to burn hers. It would have been probably worth it. That would have been a pretty good opportunity, in my opinion. Ah, I miss it. Dang, and I can't hit that either. Well, it is what it is. I mean, the matchup wasn't supposed to be something you are supposed to be able to win, so... We're just going to have to wait for our other items. She did use all of her sums, so at least both of them are down, I guess. My team's also winning. Also, one other thing is that, obviously, a TF gank would probably just... Boom. She's dead. Because he stuns, I pull back. The chain CC is probably too much. They can't handle it. One death won't be the end of the world. The longer the game goes, the better it is for me. Because... The game isn't just a pure 1v1. If it was a 1v1, this would literally be... You would never win the game, but... Because the laning phase eventually ends. And I have teammates to play around, like Karthus ult and TF ult. That does mean we have potential. We have Sorok ult too. Wow, okay. Yeah, we have three globals on our team. That's a lot. It's up to you, Mr. TF. If you ever want to gank her. Right now, she's just trying to freeze it, which is irritating. Okay, well, you'll be able to kill her at least. Unfortunately, it was a bit too late, but... Okay, good. She's still dead. I get an assist for it. A one-for-one one trade is always worth. I get an assist, right? You guys are taking forever. Okay, cool. I get an assist. I would have been so annoyed if I didn't get it. Uh, probably not even worth going level two boots because I need, I need to make it so the Condemn doesn't work, probably, so... Let's just continue going for the uh, things that I need. Is the wave going to crash? Oh, TF will probably TP mid, so I won't even bother going. Hmm, this Kha'Zix is quite fed. Does that mean that I can't even stop him from doing these? Probably not, right? 68 to 87 isn't too bad of a deficit that I feel like my like game is still over. It's not like 100 to 50, you know? Because that does happen. I need 500 gold. She is definitely rotating back top now. 
I mean, she did let me pull her last time, but it didn't really matter, though. Is there something for me to even buy? I could buy boots. Hmm. Guess I'll buy boots. Maybe the boots will allow me to get, you know, just a tiny bit more farm, and that itself will pay off rather than saving up. Who knows? Bye bye, a lot of my turret. Damn, three hit passive really hit me there. That's crazy that you can get that deep underneath my turret without my turret aggroing on you. Gotcha. I actually pulled you in. That was a pretty good trade for me. Not bad damage at all. Is TF coming top? Good stuff, man. Thank you very much for the assistance. I'm on the way. Karthus is dead for sure. Can I even get to him? Nice. Okay, I have Nimbus and I probably should have been using that a little bit earlier. I'm just zoning her. Dude, you're giving me the kills? Thanks. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna help you. I know it looks like I'm taking your farm, but I swear this is good. Let's get a little bit of pressure on this, no? We can probably get more plates with me and you. We can get a ton here. Not to mention if Vayne rotates to try to kill my TF. She, uh... Whoa! Dude, you have literally... You have, uh, no ult. Without ultimate, Vayne can't outplay very easily versus a point-and-click stun. TF's quite good against her, so... Hey, TF, please don't die right now, my guy. Whoa, okay. Did she die to the bleed? I think she does, unless the fleet footwork saved her. I, I don't think that he should, I don't know, whatever. I, I felt like it was dumb to even try to fight her. That was just weird. Okay, we got Orion ultimate. I can't, like, he did use his uh, Shirelias, which did give me a lot of movement speed. So I think maybe there was a window where I could have done it and maybe saved him. Maybe? But it would have been so coordinated, and I didn't even see that he was going to use it there. Like, he can't tell me that he's going to use it. He didn't ping or anything, too, so I just got caught off guard. I have my item, though. I don't have my ult. I don't think I could beat her right now. I'm pretty sure she still just completely outplays me. Not much potential. I'm dead. I'm gonna sacrifice my life, which is not worth it because I was worth a gigantic shutdown, so she got 500 gold. I should have just never let her hit me from the beginning. It's my fault. My bad. Do you live? Yeah, but you guys are doing fine. Like, yeah, you guys lost the turret, but... Just wait until we get out of laning phase. Don't worry, man. We will find our windows where we can start being the people who are proactive. Plus, we get Rift Herald here, I think, too, so... 
It's not that bad. Karthus is strong. Maybe I should buy a sweeper so I can try to brush camp the vein eventually. How am I going to stick on her? Yeah, she'll just run away. That's fine. It's it's such a dumb matchup, man. You can't even look for like a flank play because they'll just run in the opposite direction. Oh my god. You are pretty lucky. Maybe dead? No? Well, that was their fed Kha'Zix trying to kill me, and we just kill him because he face checked us, and I don't care if I use my ultimate early because I figured the bleed would kill him. It's really difficult to kill. Um, with your ultimate and actually get the reset versus a stealth champ. Dude, if Vayne is still here, I'm, yeah, I'm dead. And TF can't kill either. Did he ulti for me? I mean, I appreciate the help, but... I mean, that's just my greed for wanting to get a wave when I shouldn't, huh? He has no ultimate. I doubt Karthus could kill. He would have to land, like, four Skittles, and that's not the easiest to do. I still think the hardest part of the game is over, though. Going forward, now we just need to fight as a team. Be more useful than the Vayne. One good team fight is one where if I just get five man stack and then just land like a decent combo on a few of them, boom, we we kind of just win with our uh, true damage and mass amount of AD that we get. Uh, should I just continue going top here for now? Being a static. Okay. Looks like she is probably dead, but they got a good return kill, though. The Varus is also doing some big deeps. Man, it is difficult for me to uh, rotate on anybody, because... What? She's here. Okay, she will kill Varus. He's definitely dead. Oh, never mind. She had to uh, just leave. Sure, I guess I will go farm bot now. God, Darius with no movement speed sucks. I probably have to get dead mans really soon after my stride breaker. You feel so awkward to play because of how slow you are. Is anybody coming bot lane? The Orianna, maybe? Yeah, they might send everybody, so good luck to me. Are they doing Baron? No, they're not. This must be warded, right? Uh, still seems like a pretty damn good fight. Ah, uh, use cleanse. Okay. The reason why this was a good fight is because Vayne was top, so I figured that even if my teammates get caught out, like they did everything without me, and if it did go poorly, I could have easily followed it up. Damn, too bad I don't get 5 stack off that, otherwise I probably could have killed Ezreal too.
wonder if he knows that I'm here. Will Lux walk in? Oh. That was a nice TP. He did it to make it so she would back off straight into me. Well played. Vayne is still just split pushing. That's what she'll be doing all game, so. Vayne's level 15. Oof. That's a lot of levels. Wow. Will they uh, do Baron because I'm bot, or will they contest me? Because this vein just for some reason doesn't want to rotate on me. I'm not really sure why. I'm just allowed to do whatever I want down here. They are just grouping. Will Vayne rotate for me now? If she has go, she'd be able to run me down. I'm just going to ulti preemptively. Thank you for the assistance. Sorry, Vayne. Except for not sorry. Obviously, it's really annoying playing versus that type of thing. I have so much money. But yet, nobody's... Oh, there we go. There's Ezreal. <laughs> I was going to say, man, is Ezreal not even rotating too? And I'm just going to like take their inhib. Buy Stride Breaker, buy this. When I finish my Dead Man's, it might be possible to honestly beat Vayne in a 1v1 on my own. Because the movement speed really makes it so much easier to play. I only need 200 more gold to get it. She has uh, just as many items as me because she has a massive CS lead. She has three items. More items than I do, actually. One hundred and fifty-five AD is how much I gain when I get five stack. That's crazy. I have like 400 AD. Hey there, Kha'Zix. Goodbye, my thingy. That's actually really annoying. Well, I'm not going to uh, continue pushing. I would really like to have my dead man, so. Buy that. Buy this. Buy a sweeper. Dragon is coming up. Nobody cared about getting to... Oh my god, that was a crazy Orion ult. My Edge of Night is coming up. That was such a good Orion ult, and Sorok just completely countered it. Nice. Just do the Baron. Okay, so we are going to get pressured bot really hard here. And I'm not going to go until we finish this, though. The Kha'Zix is mid. We'll get it. I don't have Edge of Night right now. Does that mean I can lose? I hope not. Face check in. We see where Vayne is, so we don't need to face check anymore. Kha'Zix is dead, so... 
there should be no reason why the enemy team would want to contest something without their jungler as a 4v5, unless they just don't want to win. Well, that guy died pretty fast. I didn't even have to use my ult. Well, I did use... Okay, I used it to kill Orianna, but... I meant to kill the, uh... Other guy. Yeah. So. Not sure why the enemy team decided to fight 4v5, but... Whatever, I guess. We'll just win. And I will defend, or not defend, but go try to take top turret. Now, this would be the best chance for the enemy team to come back right now. Kha'Zix is tilted. He's not even playing the game anymore, really. Orianna's still running it. This is actually common. I don't think that I've played that many Master Tier games where it feels like both teams are really trying their hardest. It's just like a matter of whichever team gets really far behind. Like, that's just how the matchups go, I guess. Alright, TF is here. The thing is that they are rotating. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't think that I can carry this with you. <laughs> like, they have two stealth champions just constantly pressing their buttons, and I just have no way to stop the constant barrage of not being able to hit them. Very annoying, man. The only way I could do it would be, like, if TF ultied, I would have probably committed, but TF didn't have ult, I think, so... This is the last inhib to take, so I'm just going to continue shoving. Rather than group. If we triple inhib, the game is kind of over. Coming back from triple inhib is like 1% chance. We'll increase our odds. Damn. What a champion, man. She also has Edge of Night, by the way. I guess that Edge of Night is to defend against my own... And I actually have multiple things, but... It's impossible to land my Q. Can I EQ very quickly and that will get her? I doubt it, right? I had a lot of money, though, too. I mean, that's the reason why I died. If I had maybe purchased, I could have just... Ran at her and won. So. She had way more items than me at that moment. I think maybe getting an auto attack thing isn't that bad too. This could be pretty good for us. Dude, the, the, my passive is so crazy, but it's so hard to do. Get a 5 stack bleed, but if I get it, I get 205 AD, so I'll have like 550 AD. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's the fun part of Darius, but it's just so damn hard to pull it off. She has a QSS as well. Is she just perma pushing? Am I going to run into her? Yep. I have Soraki healing. See you later, Oriana. Now, I am quite low, and I feel like Kha'Zix might be able to one-shot me, but I was still going to look for him, because if I feel like I find him, and he doesn't know I'm that, uh, <coughs> that I'm there, <coughs> I can maybe Q him and heal myself, and, and then I kill with my, my ult. That's what I was hoping for. Wow, that thing missed? It looked like Kha'Zix definitely was going to hit him there. The game's over. GG. Sorry, Vayne. Not today. Ooh, ow. That 
hurt. So yeah, uh, I think that I didn't play it that badly for uh, how the matchup is unwinnable. <clears throat> of course, my team popped the hell off and uh, managed to make it way easier for me where I don't need too much of impact, but I definitely wasn't a liability for my team, that's for sure. This is like one of Darius's worst matchups. So. Also helps that they had that Orion on the opposing team too. I'm going to give it to the TF. Obviously he uh, did a lot for me. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed me. Uh, suffering top lane versus a uh, really impossible range matchup. Did the best that I could. Got a win. So see you guys later. Probably not the best of blind pick Darius. I don't know what my blind pick will be. But. Um. Yeah, I don't know what I should pick into uh, blind pick lanes. So, anyways, see you guys later. Bye.